What's up, VW Lifers? Jake here today with Avery, and uh, it's a very special day. I get to learn how to drive stick. Hey, oh, and a Volkswagen bus, and not just any Volkswagen bus, baby, my 1963 single cab. <laughs> uh, it's a standard, it's been a standard for a very long time. Today, Avery, you're gonna learn how to drive it. Sure I am, Jake, and I am thrilled. I could not be more excited. So why, why do you want the need to learn how to drive stick? There's too many opportunities that come up where that people will let you drive your car, but I don't know how to do it. So what the heck, Avery, let's learn. Like, what's the what's the hold up? Yeah, and uh, why do you think a Volkswagen is the best car to learn in? Oh man, it's just so classic, you know. Like, you see them rolling down the highway, or anywhere you see them rolling, and you know what I'm saying? It's classic. Boomer, uh, we have a couple different Volkswagens around the crew, and uh, we went with Boomer today, because Boomer has a, a very easy to find, wide, gap for the gears. I've seen it with my own eyeballs. I've, I've been looking. All right, and uh, we have to ask, have you ever driven stick before? No. <laughs> <laughs> She's never driven stick before. She's about to drive my bus. So uh, if anything goes wrong, it'll be entertaining for y'all, VW Life. Just <laughs> yeah, stick around. <laughs> and uh, maybe you might learn how to drive stick too. I'm a pretty good teacher if I do say so myself. We're back at our old, my old high school. Uh, it's where, you know, Back in the day when I was just driving Boomer back before I was all patinaed up. This is where Boomer came parked. But uh, that's where we're going to learn to drive today. Avery, I brought you back to our old high school uh, for one big reason. It's a wide open space. So VW Lifers, when you're learning how to drive stick, find a nice wide open flat area. Because once we get on the hills, it'll be a little more uh, a little more challenging. That's, uh, that's lesson number two. So Avery, this is what you call three pedals. Mm -hmm. And every standard car ever, they're going to be the same. You have your clutch on the left, mm -hmm. brake in the middle, yeah. gas on the right. 10-4. When in doubt, and if anything ever goes bad, you clutch push, in. You're pushing the clutch, exactly. I didn't know that tip. So when in doubt, push that clutch in, and it'll save the motor, it'll save the tranny, and uh, it'll save feelings from getting hurt. Yep. <laughs> so uh, when you start a manual, clutch in, just because you never know what gear it's in. And you go right here. Give it a little gas, because the boomer's old, takes a little second. So it's in neutral right it's now. It's in neutral right now, so I'm going to take the clutch out. Okay. And then, in hand, put your hand on there. We'll find first. The first is up to the left. Okay. Now I'm going to take off the brake. You don't have to worry about that today. We'll worry about brake later. That's another lesson. When you want to go, you want to ease off on the clutch and ease down on the gas. So we're switching. We're switching, exactly. Okay. And so think of it like you want to be like two passing ships in the night. You want to go. Smooth. Nice and smooth. Nice you don't, and smooth. You never want to floor this one. Okay. You never want to yank off this one. You want to go nice and... It's a nice transition. Exactly. Nice transition. Okay. So uh, watch this nice and slow. Nothing All crazy. Right. All right. Nice flat parking lot. A lot of space in front of us. So we're going to go nice and slow. Mm -hmm. All right. Ready? So Let's you, go. Easy off on the clutch. Easy gas down. Once we roll, just take the clutch off. We're rolling. We're rolling. And we're rolling. And wow. We're rolling. And best way to stop, clutch and brake. Clutch in, brake. And then you can pull it back into the neutral. neutral. Neutral is like the gear in between And you can gears. just chill, right? Exactly. And you got neutral. You got first. Second is back down to the left. Third is up to the right. And fourth is straight down. Okay. So it's first, second, third, fourth. Gotcha. I right, do it one more time. Practice the gears there. Okay. We're in neutral right yeah, now. Yeah, you're in neutral. Yep, Go. Yep. First. One. No, I want to go straight down. Just second. straight yep, down. Yep, straight okay, down. Okay. I'm going to put it I'm going to start over. Okay, yeah, good. First. First, straight down. Boom, second, third. Oh, wait, when you go to third, you want to go to yeah. neutral first. Okay. So think, second is down. Huh? Neutral, up. Neutral, and then, and then straight up and down. over. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right, try it again. First. First. Straight down, straight second. Down. Neutral, up, third. Oh, that's it. You got it. Down is fourth. Perfect. The most important one is zero to one and then one to two because once you get one to two down you can do all the other ones it's basically the exact same thing it's just locating your more hand. acceleration yeah all right bw lifers are you ready <laughs> Ooh. Four, let me get comfortable over here and good old boomer boy okay all right oh wow it's the real deal now yep i don't, I don't all right know. clutch in Clutch is in, all the way in, you gotta hold it in. Yeah, 
You uh, want it all the way, all the way in. All the way in. Yep. Okay. And now find first. Okay. That's it. Now you don't have to worry about that anymore. Easy off the clutch. That's one of the most priorities. Easy off the clutch. And you really have to give it gas hardly in Boomer. Easy off the clutch. You'll find it. There you go. There you go. A little gas. A little gas. A little gas. Off the clutch. You got it. We're rolling. We are rolling. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. Alright, foot off the clutch. Since you're not, just, not, not. You're just chilling. You don't have to have your foot Just chilling. It. Yeah, you're good. Look at me. Driving a bus. Alright, just clutch in and stop. See if you can figure it out. Brake. You good? Hit the brakes. Won't hurt nothing. Just checking her out. Make Boom. sure I'm treating her nicely. You got it. You got it. What? Alright, so now go to neutral. Let's put her in neutral. Yeah, that's neutral. Now yeah. clutch off. Now clutch off. Oh, nope. Oh, that wasn't neutral. I lied. I lied. That was on me. Now you're neutral. Clutch in. Sorry. Brake. Was I in second? Yeah. Okay. You're good. <laughs> All did right. not stole it. No, you didn't. That was me because I told you you were neutral and you weren't. So that was me. So you're good. It didn't feel like it was so center. Yeah. You, yeah. I, you, yeah. So was you want down. to go again? Yeah. All right, here. Let's do it. You okay. have mine first. Okay. Let's go, buddy. Yeah. Come on, Boomer. Easy off. Make sure you have gas ready. Your other gas. <laughs> yeah, boy. And when you turn Boomer, it doesn't have power steering, so you gotta use those big guns you got. Uh-huh. And uh, pull that big old steering wheel. <laughs> I'm doing good. <laughs> hey, Look both, at me hands on, both hands on the wheel. You're driving my bus here, y'all. You, you know, think safety. Clutch in and go. Clutch in. Hi, Boomer. This is fun, buddy, huh? Don't you like this? First to second, okay. it's the same kind of thing. You want to go clutch in, foot off the gas, and mm -hmm. just pull it straight down in the second. Straight down. And then when you go easy off the clutch, and you'll kind of just feel it grab, and then you can and give it some grab. gas. Okay. And it'll be nice and easy and smooth transition. All right, you go. Try out. That was my knee. Easy off the clutch, give it a little gas, you got it. Smooth, super smooth. Great job. Great job. You can go over these, just go slow. Okay. The brakes should be fine. Clutch in uh, and break? You can if you're gonna stop, but if you're just gonna slow down. Alright, when you go, it's gonna be a little harder because you're going a little slow to drop it in a second, so you gotta give some gas. Okay. Give some gas. Good. Oh, that's perfect. That was perfect. Good. Great job. Figure it out. We are rolling, man. I'm good at this. Yes, you are. Woohoo! We are in second gear. Second gear gangster right here. Was able to do it? Yeah. I'm feeling pretty good about this. This is not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I yeah, thought it was going to be pretty darn hard. Buses are easy to drive, man. Oops, sorry. You're good. Give a little gas. Clutch on. Give a little gas. You can go that slow. A little gas. Nice. A little gas. Clutch off. Good job. <laughs> Great job. Not here. So we're on a little bit of an incline, nothing okay. crazy. So you want to give it a little more gas than you would normally do in like on a flat surface. Yeah. So just a little more gas. It's nothing crazy. It's not the end of the world incline. Uh, you, you know, you didn't install it. It's not the end of the world. But remember, if that starts to happen, clutch in, brake, clutch and in. we'll restart. Brake. And I got your e-brake because you're learning. Because okay. that, that's a whole nother element. So give it a little gas. Okay. Give it some gas and you always make sure you're first. That, that's important. All right, good job. Now give some gas and go. You good? You're wait, good. Wait, you got it. Is it you had. supposed to be in or you out? Had. Sorry, I don't know. Try this again. To give Boomer gas right now just because it's warm enough. Alright, you're good. You got it. Boom. You're doing great. Flash the peace on. BW Live. Reach out, like, subscribe, merge, tell your friends. If I was Jake's dad, I'd tell you, go tell your neighbors, tell your friends, tell everybody about VW Life.
Avery, you're doing great. Thank you. Absolute natural. Boss driving natural. I think I might need one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. All right, Avery, how did you feel about everything that happened today? My heart is beating pretty fast, but overall, such a fun experience. So glad that I had a great teacher to teach me, a great bus to drive, and I couldn't be happier with the outcome, honestly. Us at VW Life, we want to say you did a great job today. So we're getting you a sticker. And uh, you know what, PW Lifers, if you like stickers, we actually sell them in the merch department. Merc? Merc, merch, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but here you go. That's for you when you get your own Volkswagen. But uh, you did a great job today. I want to focus on things you did really well. You really picked up how to stop, which is a very important thing is stopping. That way you don't hit other people. Yes. Uh, that's good. Uh, you learn the hills. It's hard. But I mean, I didn't even talk about lugging the motor because you never did it. You you picked out how to like when to shift and do that stuff. So I was really impressed with that. Good. And you just you did a great job and you were patient and that's the most important thing when you're learning how to drive stick is patience with yourself and your vehicle. Uh, all manuals are different. I mean, Helga, Jerry, and Ziggy are all like the same model Volkswagen, but they all drive so so differently. So it's uh it's all about finding that uh the balance of that car. Uh, that's why we use Boomer today. I believe it's the easiest Volkswagen to drive ever. Uh, so I just look really cool driving it because it does all the work for me. But uh, I'm really impressed with you. You did great. And uh, thanks for coming out with VW Life. So happy to be here. So glad I was invited and couldn't be happier with the outcome. I know how to drive stick now and I feel like I've got a new tool in my toolbox. One hour lesson, maybe a 15 minute video, but uh, maybe y'all can all learn how to drive stick too. And uh, let us know in the comments below what kind of car you learned how to drive stick in. That's, uh, that's always an exciting thing. Uh, Matt Jackson, I love going to those comments and reading those and hearing about what kind of cars y'all grew up with and learning how to drive stick. I learned a 1963 single cab. Uh, that and uh, then Jerry the bus, um, the old man would actually let me drive it in the neighborhood uh, back in the day. And we had a really big hill in our neighborhood. I was, I was always too scared to drive down. So it was a, it was a fun time. But uh, Avery, you did great. Thanks for coming out here. And uh, VW Lifers, see you next week.